Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my channel about graphic design. And today I'm going to show you how to draw this retro composition with orange juice and grain texture. And if you're interested, please keep watching. Ok guys, let's start. If you want to add these colors to swatch panel, you need to select colors, select this icon, select new color group and voila, our colors are here. Now select this color and rectangle tool and draw the rectangle like this. Now select this one and rectangle tool and draw the rectangle this size. Now select free transform tool and you need to move this point, select this option and move like this closer to the center. Now make the glass a little shorter, like this. Now object path, offset path, minus 30, OK, and select this color. Now select this color and rectangle tool, hold shift and make the square. Now copy and paste the square and rotate it like this. OK, now again paste and again rotate this way. OK, move it a little. Great. Now select a dark gray color and rectangle tool and draw the rectangle like this. Rotate it and move here. Okay, now select this shape, copy and paste it. Now select dark gray shape and copy and paste it. Select both copies, Pathfinder, intersect and select this color. Okay, now select dark gray color and ellipse tool and create here the ellipse like this. It's the shadow and send background and shadow to back. Make it a little thinner and move here. Now let's create the orange. Select this color and ellipse tool and create ellipse 300 to 300. OK. Move here. Now select uh, the same color and line tool and draw the line like this and align the circle and the line. Select the line, right click, transform, rotate 90, copy. Select both lines, make them black to see them. Now again right click, transform, rotate 45 degree, copy. Now select all lines, OK, and make them here 15. Now uh, object, expand, OK. Now select the circle and the lines and here Pathfinder, divide. Ungroup and you need unselect the light parts and delete the others. OK, now select all parts and group them. Now select this color and now select this one and ellipse tool. Now create the ellipse. Uh, 330 to 330 and move these shapes to front, select these two shapes and align them horizontal and vertical. 
select uh, this light shape and transform scale and make it 103 no better 105 okay now select the orange and move it here make it a little smaller and move here okay it's great now make the shadow a little wider okay now select the whole composition and move it here now we need to open brush library select brushes this icon open brush library artistic and select this one okay here it is our brushes and let's select this light shape and we need to add in the stroke the same light color okay and select this brush here i need 0 0.5 okay now select uh, the shape object expand appearance pathfinder unite okay now select this shape select the same color in the stroke now again this brush here 0 0.5 object expand appearance and one moment the brush has its own opacity it's a little lighter than the fill color so you need to be careful and when you will make the pathfinder unite the color will be like the color in the stroke so don't forget to change it uh, to your first color or if you like you can stay it like this okay guys now let's create the grain now we need to select uh, this color and ellipse tool and create the small ellipse now select uh, the brush for example this one and we need the orange in the stroke and draw uh, the shape like this make it a little thinner 0 0.2 now select um, again ellipse tool and draw the ellipse with the orange color now double click to the color and select more darker orange color and play with the shape of direct selection tool now select uh, again the brush for example this one uh, and uh, you need to place it uh, here the same 0 0.2 I think le let it be this one is better here okay now select uh, again the ellipse tool and create one more ellipse like this and I think I need to copy and paste this one and make it a little bigger okay now let's create the symbols select this one symbols plus okay now select this one and this one object expand appearance now select this one symbols plus okay select this one symbols plus okay select this one symbols plus okay and select uh, this one symbols plus okay and the last one symbols plus ok now select all symbols and delete them now select any symbol and spray symbol tool and we need this option here ok and just spray it as you like like this ok now select other symbol for example this one and 
egg and spray it. Okay. Now select um, this one and egg and spray it. It's pretty easy and funny. Okay. Now select uh, the light one and spray tool and add here some green texture. It's like bubbles. Select the smallest one, the biggest one to create more interesting texture and okay and of course select the dark one okay now you need to add more texture well you need to play with these symbols uh, till you'd like the result it's your vision of this design it just my example you can create your own um, symbols your own shapes uh, you can select any brushes you like so you're the designer and it's your vision as I already said Okay, I think it's pretty good. Let's. If you don't like something, you always can undo the action with help of Ctrl Z and continue to create the texture this way. Okay, and let's add some whiz texture and this one. Okay guys, the design is ready. Now let's create uh, the rectangle tool 1000 to 1000 and I'm going to create cl clipping mask. Okay. Now move the square here. Okay. Select the whole design and the square and right click. Click clipping mask okay guys our retro design is ready well guys that's all for today hope you like my tutorial if yes give me a like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorials bye bye guys Mwah.